Oh yeah. So today we are doing a very exciting video. Now I, like many of you probably, am a donut fiend. Donuts literally go down like water. This donut shop in particular shows up on my feed all the time, showing me donuts like I've never seen them before. Donuts that crack. Donuts made from brioche dough and donuts that look like this. And they have been deemed couture donuts. And I wanna see what it takes to make a couture donut. famous donut shop in Las Vegas, Nevada, St. Honoré, known for their creation of couture donuts. They've been nice enough to take us along for the donut making and decorating process, and maybe if we're lucky, we'll get to make a Mia Maples couture donut. When we got to the donut shop, we met up with one of the owners who got us all suited up for our day of making donuts. I think we can all agree that my mom is a woman of many talents, but one talent you may not know she has is making donuts. Her first job ever, she was like the donut baker, which is so amazing. Like that works with my fantasy. So she's coming along with this video because she's the, deemed the donut expert. And the dough creation and shaping and frying all takes place while most of us are fast asleep. Make the dough from scratch, they roll it, cut it, proof it, and then fry. They're working all, basically all night, and then the decorators start coming in around 3. I'm not gonna lie, I did ask if I could go in for like the 1 a.m. frying of the donuts, but I would have just been in the way, and I understand that now that I've been like on the scene there. But they did set aside a little bit of dough so I could have my frying moment. Okay, we're gonna fry. How long? We're gonna time for maybe about 3 minutes. 3 minutes? Yep. 3 minutes of this! <laughs> At first I thought I would have to hold this tray for three minutes straight, and I was prepared for the challenge, but it actually just like sat in there. So, yep, you're good. What? You don't have to hold it. Just drop it. Oh. Yeah, you're good. You're I was like, <laughs> no. And yes, I'm only frying one, but usually there's over 20 donuts on one tray into the fryer. Classic donuts are fried. There are still some companies that bake the donuts. I personally prefer the frying. It definitely gives it more of like a hefty donut. Once everything is made and fried, the couture can start. Now you may be asking yourself, what is a couture donut? Well, as Alex, the part owner described, creating a donut that nobody has seen before, everything made from scratch and an elevated version of a donut, which I think we can definitely agree these donuts do that. Now I'm doing a lot of the audio after the fact because I didn't realize there was gonna be a giant fan going the entire time. There was actually one point where they were like explaining the business model and we were perfectly directly under one of the fans. So the audio was just, it was mess up. You can look at it. Like here it is. Uh, and that's when like Alex started like, on social media and like, really hitting TikTok. Next, we were taken along for the decorating of the couture donuts, the most popular and the classics. Literally the highest thing on my list was I needed to dip and understand how these creme brulee cracking donuts were made. Like what is on the top? What makes it crack? And what, like, what is it? I'm an ASMR lover and the fact that there is an ASMR donut in the universe makes me very happy. One of the decorators was kind enough to walk us through the process and even though it was hot and dangerous liquid, let me and Mama Maples dip our own donuts oh my gosh they're so heavy yeah they're, they're filled good so we do them on this side because it's a flat side right okay so you get a nice flat surface this one will be the one they'll be like what happened to this one <laughs> he's like mom do you want to try one oh, do Mama Maples was the professional. Hers turned out a lot better than mine, but I take the fact that I didn't burn my hand as a win. They're oh so God. heavy. They're so heavy. You have to So okay. if you want to try... I should have been paying attention more. <laughs> oh, it's okay. So I just take it, a uh, little sugar with my hand, and just kind of roll it around. It. Okay. okay. Our number one selling donut by a Is long, it the number oh, one? Like by four to one. Then we have the unicorn donut, a fan favorite, complete with sprinkles and a fondant horn. Oh no! This is actually my job application. Oh god. Okay. It's perfect. That's way better than mine. That's cute. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's perfect. 100% by me. I didn't 
just do the icing. I did that. Every donut is hand-shaped and hand-dipped. There's definitely a technique to all of these, and I can't believe the sheer mass of donuts they make every day. 2,000 donuts. And then it was my turn to make a Mia Maples Couture Donut. I was definitely overwhelmed. You know, someone gives you free range of a donut kitchen. There's a lot of things that flew through my mind. I'm being oh, thrown in the ringer. Everything's happening at my once. Face. At first, I was thinking of making like a donut with a doily, making it like grandma vibes. But then I was inspired by the St. Honore vibe and I really wanted it to fit in. Like I almost wanted to like make their next best seller. You know, that was like my attempt. One thing I knew for sure is it had to be a maple dip donut. For multiple reasons, I'm Canadian, my name's Mia Maples, and maple is my favorite flavor. Okay guys, I'm left alone. I'm gonna really fill it. I'm gonna really get this full now. <laughs> We're just gonna edit out the part where I can edit the part. Sorry. So I did that. As for the design, there were so many fun things to choose from. There was gold spray, sprinkles, a bunch of different icings, but I was very intrigued by the printing machine, edible printer. I was always curious to see how they did this, and it is one donut at a time. They have two machines, so I guess two donuts at a time, and you can print whatever logo or image you want right onto the donut, and you can eat it. So this is our machines, they're kind of cool. Wow, so you have to like hand print each? Each one, so you can kind of see some of our customs that we've done, like we did a Jordan logo. We do the, you know, the custom prints for like the designer stores. So we kind of go right to the center, and then it's gonna shoot this thing right up, and then it's just, it's like a laser stitch printer uh, that's, but it's done with um, actually espresso grinds. Oh, okay, so oh, it's like edible. cool. Yeah. So it'll bring it right up. Oh, I'm sorry. She took it. <laughs> I'm there. I'm like, I'm Rudolph. Rudolph. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Uh, Whoa. Oh yeah, it did. That worked. It's actually really cool. It is. Okay, so good to go? Yeah, you're good. Fire away. Oh my god. And seriously, seeing the Mia Maples logo on there, my life is officially complete. If you want, what is the trajectory of my life to have this on? I know, right? right now. <laughs> I also wanted some height on the donut, so I built it up with some icing. And what's better than one donut than one donut plus a mini donut? Should I put this on it? Should you do that. Well done, <laughs> Yay! Wait a minute, I I sense a bestseller. I'm thinking, hold on. I got Oh gosh, what am I doing? I don't even know. <laughs> when she goes in without a plan. Oh, oh there it is. I'm doing a heart. It's really making me realize how professional all the other ones look. Yeah. When I get to do my own thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. You left me alone. You know what? It's going to taste really good. <laughs> Wait a minute. I was left alone. <laughs> it's cute though. It's so cute. You can't make a bad donut. Yeah. So here is the box of couture donuts that I made. And then they wanted me and Ming to try some of the best sellers, which I mean, I'll do it. It was a little crazy seeing how when we were filming this, it was nine in the morning and I was trying six donuts, but you know what? When someone offers you six donuts, you say yes. This is our tasting box. We're gonna give them all a go and mom's gonna rate them. because She is the donut expert because she worked at a donut shop when she was 12. So she is the right one for the job. And Did it's I nine in this? the morning. <laughs> And then the other owner, Alex, showed up to formally introduce us to our donut box. You may recognize her from all of the donut TikToks. Like, what is each one? Okay, so this one is a holiday spice. They kind of, do you like chai? Have you ever had like a chai? I love chai, Okay, yes. so that's what that one reminds me of. I love chai too. Okay. It's delicious. That's how thick these donuts are. <laughs> yeah, they're big. Ding! Oh my god. Mm. That is so good. I was surprised. Insane. I was surprised how good it was. Okay, that one was amazing. Amazing, yeah. Okay. This one, the white chocolate peppermint, surprised me. I thought it was incredible. Fresh. Whoa, <laughs> my poop. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's a quintessential Christmas. <laughs> this one's Boston Cream. It's one of our traditional donuts. When we first opened the donut shop, we wanted to have our couture donuts, but we wanted to also include some classic donuts. Ding. Okay, we can't do that every day. <laughs> You outdid yourself. <laughs> All right, I'm excited for this one. Yeah. 
Oh my, that's really it's good. Perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> this is cookie butter, so it has a cookie butter ganache on the inside and vanilla bean cream on top. Yum. I feel like that one's, I it's got my so eyes good. on I love that cookie one. butter. Have I, you guys had cookie butter before? No. No? Oh, okay. It is an American thing. Okay. I don't know if they have it in Canada. You guys have a lot of great things. Oh yeah, like, we were at Target we were like, what is all this? Bottle? It's called, like, it's like a Biscoff like, cookie and they like blend it into like a peanut butter. So it's, but it's made with cookies. And so you like take this. Most people eat it on toast or you wow. can put it on, yeah. That's like a okay. whole new world. I thought I'll cut it right from the center so we don't miss anything. Okay, okay. No, no we're, no, not, we're gonna not gonna do that. Oh my God. Oh my, that is amazing. That one should be illegal. <laughs> And then the creme brulee is our, we call it our viral donut because it's yes. it's the most popular donut. It sells out within an hour and people just love the, the sound when you bite into it. Get that mic action. <laughs> ASMR donut. <laughs> okay, I need to make sure I really get the crack. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh my. That is so good. See, I'm scared to go. I want to try it again. They are literally all a 10, but I'm going to do this ruthless. Okay. okay? <laughs> Number one. Number one. She's one. a cookie butter girl. Mm -hmm. I'm a cookie butter girl. What can I say? <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, which is so good. <laughs> one. Two, three, four, five, six. But it's hard. <laughs> Thank you oh for my having gosh, us. That was my absolute favorite was cookie butter. How did I not know cookie butter existed? The most satisfying donut was the creme brulee. I mean, that crack was so amazing. I've never had a donut like that in my life. Oh yeah. Oh! So I'm leaving St. Honore with a greater appreciation for donuts. Let's be clear, I've always appreciated donuts, but today I got a better understanding of all of the love and passion and effort that goes into donuts. I'm also leaving with a full stomach and a pretty serious sugar high. I wanna say a big thank you to everyone at St. Honore for letting us come in and literally be like in the way in the kitchen. I can now officially cross taking over a donut shop off my bucket list. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. This is something a little bit different we do on the channel, so make sure to tell me if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!